Hello everybody, Chris Chapman coming at you from the Rusty Nuts Model Shop. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial. Been asked on how I do my um, flocking on my interior floors and stuff. Well, this is how I do it. It's not the best way or only way. There's many ways out there and stuff, but this is just an answer to those that have asked me. Now, I've got a bin here that I put aluminum foil in. This is for when I spray. And I will also be using another platform with an envelope here. I'll explain that in a bit. So, what I've got here is I've got the interior tub for my 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner that I'm trying to get done. I've already painted the seats and everything. That's the one that's been sitting around for a few years. Everybody seen my other videos are probably familiar if you haven't. What's your problem? They're in the archives. Go check it out. Anyway. I've already got it all taped up, taped off here and here. This is where the door panels will go, end up. So that way I'll have a nice clean area for my doors to glue to with the styrene so I get a good bond there. I've taped off the floor mat, which I will paint to look like a rubber mat later. And also the two areas where the floors, uh, seats go on the floor so that, again, the seats will have a nice clean place to adhere to the styrene. Now, is what I use is a white glue. This is Elmer's glue and a water mix. It's a 50-50 mix. And I also use ground cinnamon. You can get this at the dollar store. This one here I actually got from a store that went out of business a few years ago and I was actually using it as ground cinnamon for what it's used for cinnamon toast yummy 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 <laughs> oh, I'm hungry now anyhow I uh, kinda decided to start using it on these so I took this particular bottle put it in and <coughs> like I said I've used a lot of it for cinnamon toast but I've got half a bottle here and I've been had this for a number of years so it'll last you a long time one of these bottles here will last you a long long time so what we do I put the aluminum foil down here to catch the overspray and I just go ahead I want more of a spritz What is coming out? That's a new bottle. The other one that I had broke. But you can see all of the excess here that's running all over. Now you take a brush. Oh crap, I buried it. And kind of just spread it around. Make sure that you don't have a lot in the piling up anywhere. And you want to put a liberal amount on there because you want it to be quite wet and fairly thick. And you'll see why here in just a sec. Now for most of you model builders, you've already figured out how I do it. So there's probably no reason to continue watching this video. As you're all smart enough to see what's going on here. <laughs> but I'll go ahead for uh, amusement purposes and finish showing how I do it. There we go. See, and I don't want a whole lot build up in the corners and things. Okay. Now, what I do is I put this off to the side. And I bring this over. That's out of the way. And the reason I use this is to be able to shovel it back in. I'm going to go ahead and wipe off just some toilet tissue here. Get off some of the areas where it's pooling in the corners. 
kind of got a new setup on my camera system, so I'm hoping it's working. I'm going to set that there. And I use these manila or these white envelopes. They're thicker and everything. You'll see my reasoning for it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and dump a healthy amount on here. Kind of get it all covered up. All covered up and hit it a little bit on the angles you can see I need a little bit more over here I'm gonna kind of just roll it around tap it on the bottom and you can see what's sticking and what's not Got an area down there that needs it. Then there's an area over there. I'm going to have to put a little bit more glue on some of this. Especially on the sides. Now, once I get that done, I tap off the excess. You can see I've got a fairly good coverage on it. But you can also see there's a little area right up in here. I don't know if the shadows are going to block it. Let's see. Maybe that'll help. It's a little thin right there and a little thin right here where my finger is. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. So, we'll go ahead, let this dry. And after it dries, I'm going to give it 30, 40 minutes. And I will come back and show you. Now, one thing, I could set this off to the side now and let it dry. Well, I got you here still. Take this off. And this is the reason I like using this. Turn around. Dump all of it right on back into the bottle there. Put this top cap back on it. So that way I'm not wasting any. And so hold on one moment. Alright, sorry about that. I had somebody stop by here for a sec. Now. It actually kind of helped because I was able to find my other spritzer sprayer bottle thingy that actually puts more of a mist onto it so it doesn't squirt it out so quickly like this here. Like I said, this is for doing my tarps and everything. I just kind of and I use the paint brushes to move it around. But with this one here, this is a mister. And so I can just spritz on another coat you know what's funny this smells like cinnamon got a little too much there let's kind of spread that around okay where did I put my cinnamon right here And we will go ahead and again generously dump a bunch on here. Get it over here, get it over there. You can kind of see how it's looking. Let's move this one out of the way. Come back over here. Tap off the excess.
Now the good thing about this process, for this color here, for what my car is, I'm not going to worry too much about like little sections right in here. You can kind of see right up along the edge there, because the seats will be covering that up. But you kind of see how it's got a nice fluffy look to it. You can leave it like this here, of which I will come in. Let's go ahead and wipe this off. Where's my little toilet tissue? Okay. Now, we can go ahead and leave this the way it is. When it dries, you're not going to see these little patches and dark and stuff. It comes out looking really good. The cool thing about this is after you get it dried, you can turn around and paint it any color you want with an airbrush. And just lightly mist over any color that you want for it. Um, white kind of takes a lot to get it built up just because it's white. Um, I, I pre prefer not to use white as a carpet in a car anyway. Um, white's good for seats and things where you can get it cleaned up and stuff, but just walking around on ground and stuff, you get in there with shoes, that white's going to become gray very quickly in a 1-1 one -one car. So what I like to do is use, you know, gray or whatever kind of color and cherry. If you're doing a blue interior, use a gray or a blue color, you know, and brown, tan, things like that. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry, and I believe I might just go ahead and leave it the color that it is. I like the uh, way it looks and stuff, and it'll look really good with the other colors that I have. So, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry, take about 30 minutes, and then we'll come back and I'll peel off my tape and things like that, show you what it looks like in the end. I'll talk at you shortly. All right, I'm back. Let's uh, go ahead and get, where's my uh, exacto knife hiding over here? I want to turn around. I'm not real sure exactly where I had my tape. I believe that's it right there. There it is. I'll go ahead and grab onto that with my tweezers. And just slowly peel it. Now I let this dry for about 30 minutes. And as I do this, I kind of pull away from where the cinnamon is at. And that gives me a nice clean spot for when I do my tires. I'm going to try to get this one started. I'm going to pull away. And away. And throw that in the garbage. Now you're going to have some that comes up, so you just tap it. Looks like it needs a little bit more drying time. But if you have some that comes up like this, you can actually go in there. These brushes work great. Take some of your high spots. Now brush it off. All the way around, you can see... Hopefully, you can see, let me move this out of my way so I can look at my screen, see what you guys are seeing. Make sure I got, you can see the difference now. I've got this side here is the uh, 
side that I haven't scraped or lightly brushed, this side I have. Much more cleaner, more refined. Get more light on it like that. So these little brushes are great for this kind of stuff. And the cool thing about it is when you get done, you take it upstairs to the kitchen sink, rinse it off, it'll be ready for next time. You can get up into the little corners and things as well. Get down the side there. Let's go take this off across the top. Now one thing that I didn't do that I should have done that I didn't think of that should have happened. Yeah, that's coming out nice. I'm a liking it. Is I forgot to tape off where the gear shifter would go, which is right here in this area. So I'll go ahead and finish cleaning this out. Now this also works really good if you want to do like a carpeted uh, back rear deck or even a carpeted roof liner. You just got to make sure that when you tape everything off it's not going to seep out where you're going to actually have color going to it. So I got this hair all cleaned up. Things are drying. It's still got a little bit more drying to do. But you can see... That looks nice and furry and fuzzy. And sometimes if you want, you can turn around and seal it with the glue because the glue dries clear. And that's a good thing about the water based and stuff and the Elmers. Um, now, one thing also is uh, I like to use hodgepodge glue a lot also. And... You get this at your Hobby Lobby store, stores. This particular bottle right here, Modge Podge is what it's called, not Hodgepodge. Ha <laughs> ha silly. Mod Podge Matte. This one here will dry flat and see through, clear. You can't see it, but it will put a dull shine on your uh, car. Or your carpet. You can actually use this to seal in acrylic paints. Like on floorboards and things as well. Like I've got this one right here. I can turn around. Mix this. Dilute it with water and stuff. You can brush it on. You can spritz it on with a little spritz it bottle. You can also airbrush it. It's all water cleanup. Just light mist coats on it seals it off and when it dries it dries keep in mind it is water based so you don't want to go putting water on it and scrubbing on it but it will seal it they also in the mod podge they also have a clear bottle of which i don't have in this little bin right here it's over in another one because it's a big bottle and it's a gloss one it shine it dries shiny and so for like sealing off motor blocks or radiator hoses, if you want to uh, tape off your uh, chassis, then you can also turn around and put the gloss Mod Podge over your frame rails, of which will end up giving it a gloss. And then if you take and mix this 50-50 with the gloss, you can also end up getting a nice sealer that's a semi-gloss. And so, these white glues are really, really, really good for that. Um, Elmer's glue, white glue, all the same. I haven't really looked into uh, seeing any Elmer's glue lately. Just for the fact, you know, I got my glue wood filler for some putty. I've got a wood glue max for putty also. 
and different things like that but i'm not sure if elmer's offers a gloss or a matte uh dry clear type colors or clear coats so i do know the mod podge does so i wanted to mention that here real quick and then we'll get this out of my way close that up and so that kind of about gets her done for us here with the exception that i gotta get my mat come on let's get enough up so that i can grab a hold again pull away That comes up and around, take that off, throw that away, and I'll go in there and clean that up with my brush. And on this particular one, I think is what I want to do is go with a light brown or a tan dill. And I'll show you a little bit on that after I get this completely dried on how I will paint this little section right there. Um, I also have no need for this to be on anymore. So let's go ahead and take it off. Oh, that didn't leave. Now it's stuck on my finger. No way! Leave me alone! Come on! Gosh, okay. Okay, we're good. Grab a hold of it right there. And you can see, I've got myself some nice, clean areas to, uh, be able to apply my glue and have it stick and hold real well. So that's about it for that part of it. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. There you go. I even went and I painted the floor mat on it. Now I just got to get my seats put in it, my door panels done, and I'm good to go. But that right there is how I do it, people. Again, you can paint this, spray it any color you want with acrylic paints with an airbrush afterwards. And it looks really good. So that'll conclude this here tutorial. I hope it helps out people and is understandable and... Um, I appreciate all my subs and everybody for watching. Thank you. Uh, Chris Chapman from Resting Nuts Model Shop. This has been Flocking with Chapman. Have a great day. Weekend. Bye.